Welcome, 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 everybody, with the first ever episode of Gaming with Grave Plot. I am Max Health here uh, with The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, a very, very sad little tale of a little kid and his 14 imaginary friends. The Binding of Isaac is a 2011 video game uh, from Ed Mc Edmund McMillan, um, who also created Super Meat Boy uh, and all that uh Super Meat Boy most recently came out with uh, The End is Nigh. He very similar uh, art styles uh, across all of his games. Um, but The Binding of Isaac is, uh, if you know anything about the Bible, uh, The Binding of Isaac is a, a, a story of where... Uh, of where, I, where Isaac in the Bible is going to be killed by his father. Um... This has changed into where his mother is trying to kill him after having uh, after having a vision or a uh, auditory hallucination from God. So basically, what happens is you uh, you you go down you go down into the basement uh, into the underworld, and Isaac has to fight these monsters. Um, and I'll do a quick. A quick 10 or 15 minute run uh, run for you guys here, but The Binding Isaac, while not strictly a horror game, is very horrific in its nature, in its uh, art style. It's very cutesy here, um, but the, the tones and the undertones of the video game are actually very, 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 very dark. Um, the Binding of Isaac has a lot of, uh, a lot of content. Um, I'm currently at 370 hours on this version of the game. But I have the Switch version, I have it on the PS4, I, I bought the game multiple times, multiple uh, physical copies. Uh, this game is one of my top ten of all time. Um, but The Binding of Isaac came out in 2011, then there's Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb, which came out shortly after. Then there's Binding of Isaac Rebirth, which changes the uh, the game, the, the platform that it was running on from Flash to, uh, to a separate... Um, to a separate uh, platform. Um, I think it's running on... What's it running on? Um, bum, 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 bum. I actually don't know. Oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's running on uh, Unity? A version of Unity, I believe? Anyway, so... Um, Binding Isaac, beautiful game. Um, there, so like I said, the Binding Isaac, Binding Isaac, Re uh, Wrath of the Lamb, Binding of Isaac, Rebirth, Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth, and then Binding of A uh, Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth Plus. All of these are available on uh, the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, the Xbox One, PS3, Xbox 360, and um, for uh, and for. Linux and computers and, and all that good stuff. So definitely, this game is is incredible. There's so much content here that a, a, a ten minute little demonstration is not going to uh, not going to do much for you. And especially, this is a good pick up and go game. It's a it's a uh, genre called roguelike, which allows you to. There's permanent death. So once your character dies, you start a new what they call run. And with that, what you do is is you unlock things to progress throughout the game on a slow scale rather than, like, one continuous cycle. So instead of having one character go from the beginning to the end of, like, the entire game, you're going to die a lot. And then once you finish a, a run, which is usually one of the predetermined bosses, either Mother or Satan or whomever... Um, then you get to go uh, and un you unlock things as you go uh, as you go along. Like I'll show you, I'll show you the characters real quick. Um, obviously, Isaac, Magdalene, Cain, Judas. This is Blue Baby's own uh, uh, Blue Baby or question mark question mark question mark. Basically, he's the dead version of Isaac. Um, this is Eve. This is Samson. Azazel, who is a flying demon. Lazarus. Eden, who uh, is a randomized character every single time. Um, Lilith, which she cannot shoot, and then the Keeper, which is um, the shopkeeper in the game, and I'll show you that. And then Apollyon, and then there's one character that I don't have unlocked on this file called The Lost, which is basically you can't get hit or you die. So 
I'll show you the game um, as as Isaac, uh, just as a uh, just as a, a a getting to know you kind of thing. So, Binding Isaac is a top-down twin-stick shooter uh, with uh, randomly generated rooms. This room right here is a curse room, so we're going to go in. We get hit a little bit, but we also gained a couple of spiders, which is great. Not not great. Um, but I'm holding I'm holding the D6. If you uh, if you take if you if you go around the um, if you go around the, uh, the the screen with me, top right is the map. But I currently have a curse that doesn't allow me to see the map. Then there's time and score. Um, score doesn't really matter unless you're doing dailies. Time is just uh, a marker for you. And then there's also two secret bosses that if you if you get to them before 20 minutes and 30 minutes, you get to face the secret stuff. Um, Top left is your spacebar item or your active item, and then your health. You can have up to twelve different hearts, uh, whether it be um, whether it be red hearts or black hearts or blue hearts. And then there are coins, bombs, and keys. And then that little pentagram-looking uh, thing is the uh, the pentagram-looking thing is the uh, the indicator that I'm on hard mode. But as you can see, the uh, the All it, it it's very dark. Um, you're a little naked boy crying at enemies uh, to get through to get through the basement um, and to get through to to get through your your hell basically. And uh, the bosses are all incredibly well done. Um, this is a key. This is an item room up here, so let's... Okay, so I got Bob's Curse, which gives me not only the ability to have poison bombs, but also gives me five bombs, um, which is not bad. Um, there are secret rooms usually down here. Um, I was incorrect. But let's go to the boss. We're going to fight Little Horn, which is one of the most annoying first first floor bosses. But um, very, uh, very Legend of Zelda-esque room types. Very, uh, you know... They, it, the, the ability to like change your, change your character with the items that, that you pick up and, uh, and actually change like the way that you look like, Isaac looks different than he did at the beginning of the, uh, than he did at the beginning of the game because he has an item now that changes his physical appearance, which is one of the coolest things, uh, about the Binding Isaac is that you can have synergies of, at weapons and items that you can get throughout the game and they'll, and they'll actually change not only the way that your tears work but also that you could shoot, shoot nails you could shoot eyeballs um it's it's all uh it's all dynamic um everything i'm gonna it gave me that's frustrating so I use the D6, which the D6 allows you to uh, re-roll an item, basically, uh, uh, giving you another chance of getting another item in the same pool, because there's different pools of items depending on where you're at. Um, so I got to the second level. There are roughly, uh, I think there's 14, 14 floors or 10 floors, depending on which way you're going. So uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a quick rundown. So your... your uh, your bosses and your like achievements and everything they're all on sticky notes and this sticky note which is to the uh, top left of this pause screen here where it says paused directly to the left where it says a little sticky note where all those red icons are there's the heart which means that you've killed mom's heart there's the right side up cross which means that you've done the cathedral the star indicates that you've done boss rush which is one of the secret you know under 20 minute ones uh the upside down cross is meaning that you you defeated uh, Shoal, which is basically Hell. Um, the white and black marker is for the Polaroid, which means that you've defeated the uh, the chest, which is the final level of the game. Uh, then there, the one to the right is the negative, which means that you've defeated the Dark Room, which is also the... There's two different paths that you can go, either the Dark or the Light. The uh, sat uh, the Satan symbol, uh, bottom left, is that you killed Mega Satan, which is probably the hardest boss to get to, just because there's a couple of qualifiers that you have to get uh, to to get there. Then there's the scent sign, which means that you've beat uh, you've beat greed mode, and then there is the little like frowny face, which means that you beat the hush. Now, on this post-it note, you'll you'll notice that everything is filled in and it's covered in blood. Well. 
The post-it note covered in blood means that I've defeated the super secret boss, which is called Delirium. And Delirium was added in Afterbirth Plus, and there, so, to truly get through all 15 characters and all 15 characters, all of the, all of the content, uh, you know, there's 600 items, 200 trinkets, it's a massive amount of, a massive amount of, of, uh, of content. And it truly is one of the best made video games of all time uh, in, in my, uh, you know, in my, oh my god, uh, I'm gonna die, that's okay. Uh, best, best design games of all time in my, my estimation. I play this probably once a day, just as kind of like, me, like me, uh, meditation, um, but it is a beautiful game. A truly wonderful experience for anybody who's looking up, uh, who's looking for a game kind of to pick up and go. Good thing it, it, it can run on toasters. Um, <laughs> this game runs on everything, so it's 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 wonderful uh, that way. So I think uh, I think that we're we're gonna get a couple through a couple more rooms, and I will probably call the video. Um, I know that gaming with Great Plot is brand new, so I appreciate all of your. Uh, all of your support and all that good stuff. I know that Taylor and Tony are very excited. This is a black rune. That's pretty cool. So all these items, there's consumables, there's trinkets, there's passive items that change how you look, change how you uh, do things in the game. And then there's active items, just like the D6 on the top left, that uh, will do something either to the floor or to the room or do mass damage or change you. In, you know some portion I'm not gonna go to the boss fight because I want to go find my item room um, because that is important <clears throat> but uh, yeah the the binding Isaac is 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 a fun game I've never had uh, I've never had a game kind uh, strike me and grab me as quick as binding of Isaac did um, th the best thing about it is that Runs can last, you know, usually they're only about 30 or 45 minutes, which is pretty good, so you can pick up and go whenever you want. It's not a game that you feel that you have to play for a couple hours at a time. I died. That is unfortunate. Dear Diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in some basement, and it's ugly. I leave all that I own to my cat Guppy, who is a transformation that you can get later in the game. Goodbye, Cruel World, XOXO Isaac. And the really cool part, and you'll see here, is that over here, you'll see in the pause screen too, that you have these these eight characters. So mine is F8RF1MKY. This is a seed that you can give to your friends to play with them. Now it's not multiplayer, but they can they will play the same run that you do and face the same challenges that you do. Um, and I know that that is something that a lot of people uh, enjoy when playing the Binding Isaac, uh, is that, you know, hey, I came across this really bad run the other day. I wrote down all the seeds. I want you to try and beat it, and if you can, you're a god. Stuff like that. It it, it reminds me of, of Couch Co-op uh, from back in the day. So, hey, I've been Max Health, and you have been the viewer. This has been Gaming with Graveplot, where we're all a little dead inside. <laughs>